Questions? Hey, hey, coach, I just want to ask you, it's another close game. That's three of them this week. So what did um, what is this experience in close games uh, teaching y'all for a play down the stretch? Well, I think it's it's a learning um, deal. I spoke to them in the locker room. We played three tough games in seven days, and you won all three. I think for about maybe the, not just these three games, but maybe for the last two weeks, I felt – the people, the opponents are just really playing extremely hard. They're playing with a lot of energy and excitement. And I asked the team, why do they think that's taking place? And they just looked at me and I said, understand what's taking place here. You are becoming relevant in, in women's basketball. It's out there that you're undefeated. It's out there that we have Flage and Angel and Morris and many others. And you're going to have to learn how to um, be the aggressor and not always allow people to to be the aggressor. And, and I just think we're we're learning that, um, and it's it's good for us. Scott, you're muted. Okay, there we go. Thought I'd, thought I'd fix that. Uh, I, I know you don't like to make excuses, but the, the three games in six days, has that taken a toll and, uh, on y'all mentally and, and made it, you know, you know, led to some of the turnovers and poor decisions maybe that y'all have made? Um, I don't know that I would say fatigue is a problem. I think we're in February now. Even when I was a player, February is the hardest month because you get tired of each other. You're, 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 you're trying to grind out wins, finish up the regular season and get to March. And then you, it's like you have a breath of fresh air when you get to March. I sometimes want to compliment the opponent for creating those turnovers. It's very uncommon for Alexis Mars to have nine turnovers. Um, she knows that. And we've done some things, Scott, of late that um, you don't normally win the games when you do that. We allowed an opponent to shoot almost 55% the previous game. We turned the ball over too much this game on the road, and we've been able to just escape with wins. Um, I hope that we learn from that. Um, so I don't want to use fatigue. Everybody's kind of grinding this this time of year. Hi, um, Christy Reekin from the Associated Press. I wondered, what did you see from Angel, especially there late whenever um, Alexis had fouled out to kind of for y'all to be able to close out the game when the Aggies kept coming at you? Oh, I've seen it's, Angel Reese. She's just a, a, a talent. She's a, a talent that um, hates to lose. A uh, talent that has an unbelievable will to win. She saw a defense today that was very difficult for us to get her touches. Um, if we were able early to hit that mid-range shot at the high post with our other post players, they wouldn't have been able to uh, front and then play behind her. She attracts that much attention. And um, I thought Alexis Morris, you know, was hitting early in the game. I thought we got some transition buckets that we didn't get in the second half. And um, I thought Flage's jumper on the baseline, she continues to do things in the clutch. If it's a big rebound and make free throws or hit a big bucket, Flage's not afraid uh, in moments like that. And um, we're just gonna grow up. All those things help you get better. Yeah, uh, second straight game in this season series for Angel to have 20 and 20 against AM. What What is it about, I guess, this particular matchup for her that allows her to 
uh, you know, just statistically put up the numbers that she has in the two games? Well, it's interesting because I thought they defended her better today than they did at our place. Uh, and she still ended up that. Um, it's not anything that I know of personal because Angel is, you know, she knows everybody. Angel's been around in basketball. So she's not from Texas. So it's not any of that kind of um, deal. I think she's just a competitor. And uh, I think that um, she's learning that she draws a lot of attention. Uh, but she was not guarded this way at our place. She was guarded tough today. Coach, I want to talk about the two positives, which you, your start to the game, you came out really well. And then uh, you shot, I was a terrific free throw shooting 85% in the fourth quarter. Well, we got to the line a lot, but I thought A&M got to the line too much. You know, I don't like them to shoot as many free throws, but I think we were uh, seven more free throws than them. And I thought we... Um, we shot the, the foul line, uh, shot pretty good. I thought uh, Poa late in the game, put her in because I wanted a lot of ball handlers on the floor because you knew they were going to foul. I think Poa stepped up there like she'd been in the game the whole time, and th those were big free throws. Coach, I also want to ask you about um, a and Chuck juxtaposing the game – played against them earlier this season at home versus now. How are they different? How are they improved from, from that game to this game? Well, let's start with the three injured players that were not available when they came to us. Uh, when you look at uh, uh, Barker and, and some other of those kids, you had uh, Hilton, all those kids were injured. And, uh, you know, those were high school All-Americans. She, Joni, signed at Georgia, and they came with her. And they're just now getting back into the flow. So they score 22 more points a game now that those kids are back on the floor for them. They rebound it better now that they're back on the floor. So injuries can deflate you. But uh, when you get them all healthy, you see improvement. And I thought that they're, what they tried to do defensively on Angel was outstanding. Um, and I thought that um, you can tell they're improved. But a lot of that has to do with their – their main players being back and healthy. Any more questions? Yes. Oh, uh, not that not it's an official, it's happened. Uh, can you at least touch on next week's matchup at Columbia? You both? No, no, let me do that in a press conference this week. Let me get on this plane. And uh, so that when I do talk to you about the matchup in Columbia, I have seen film, I have studied and can give you some, um, you know, some good stuff. I think now I'm emotionally drained from this game and the two previous games. We're going to have off tomorrow and Tuesday. And so we'll, we'll let you all know when we're going to have a press conference and uh, talk about it. So please, please be there. And, uh, and if you don't mind asking me then, it's just too much to think about them right now. Did they win today? Yes. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you all.